Hey guys, it's Mr. Red Cerevi here, and today I'll be doing a review of the 1 to 144 high grade Gundam Age 1 Normal. Um, sorry guys, it's been a while. Um, school's been a killer lately. I've been staying up late doing some projects here and there, but I have actually been building some, but I haven't had time to review since most of my time's been donated to all that projects and all that work I've been doing. So, um, I actually, this is a weekend and I don't have any projects to do, so I decided to finish, do all the reviews I, other than kits I completed. So, age one normal. The, it is the first Gundam we see in the Gundam Age series, but not the first mobile suit we see in the Age series. The first mobile suit we saw was the Genoese. It was the regular mass production type, not the custom or anything. So, um, it has the normal Gundam colors: red, yellow, red, <laughs> red, yellow, blue, and white, and gray for the joints and e accessories. And for stickers, you get the age symbol on the chest. The eye and camera stickers on the back and in the front. And you get the camera sticker for the gun right there. Jeez. Okay. There we go. And the black stickers on the knee. And that is actually it for ex for um, stickers. Not very much. So, yeah, now let's get started with articulation. I'm gonna take these out. Okay, so for articulation, his Head can rotate 360, go forwards and back, side to side, like that. The arm can rotate 360, go up that high, rotate below the shoulder, and the arm can bend at the elbow, so he's touching his own shoulder, which is actually pretty good. The hand is on a ball joint, so it can go basically anywhere. Go up and down, side to side, and rotate. The waist is on a ball joint at the this part here and at the torso, so it can go. This is a very loose ball joint. Rotate 360, and at the top ball joint, go forwards and back, and side to side slightly and the flip leg they can go out that far back about the same out pretty far till he's doing the splits basically so yeah pretty good It can, the leg can rotate below the hip joint. The leg can bend that far. Pretty nice. The leg is on a ball joint. Actually, nope. A poly cap, so it goes forward and back. And now at the ball joint, it goes side to side. And the foot just goes forward and back. So, yeah. And that's it for articulation. So, now for accessories. The the first two accessories you saw was this very, very, shoot, very nice shield. And it can peg onto the arm right here. And you can actually change the position of where the shield is held. You need to take the hand off though. So you can actually put it on its side and it can actually just be held like that. 
you can do it on both sides so I like to change this one so it can just be so it can be balanced you don't have one side different than the other so and then next you have the beam rifle which has some articulation to it too this flips out well what you do first is that you flip it this way and then flip that out and I think I assembled it wrong for some reason but yeah you can either hold it that way but this way it looks really really weird I like having it on this side and for some reason the manual says this is also a gun but um, it's weird it's a small gun and I don't think it can do very much damage so to so put it in the hand you have to take the hand cover off but I'm not gonna do that since I'm gonna use it for the actually yeah I'll do it I'll use the other hand And now I'm gonna get, try and get them into a pose. So that is the normal, the be my fool and the shield. But um, like any other Gundam model, it comes with beam sabers. Let me just get them out of the bag here. He comes with four beams, meaning two sets of beam sabers, two long beams, and two short beams, which these are actually pretty, sh they are, I think, they can actually go on the Exia. And I actually have my Avalanche Exia right here. So I'm gonna try it out. So this is the dagger, and yes they can be held for the Exia. And same can be said for the long ones. But, I'm not going to use them for my Exia. I'm going to use them for this guy. Which, the beam savers are held in the side skirts. Right there. And what you do, you have to push it out. Which is really, sometimes really hard with thumbs. So, you can actually have them dual wielding. So, my shield is really nice. Yeah. So if that is actually, actually, one more, and you get actually one open hand for it, and that is actually it. So I'm gonna do one quick size comparison on an HK on an H kit I already reviewed and that will be the G bouncer and I think I already reviewed this guy so yeah so I'll guess I'll see you guys in my next review